now next one is grouping operator so first purpose of grouping operator is to serve to override operator precedence in expressions we will try to understand this with a demo soon second purpose of grouping operator is to allow output from a command to participate in an expression so let's see a quick demo to understand all these things better so i have named this demo as special operator and under that it is grouping operator so in first line i'm just trying to execute a statement using simple arithmetic operators and now let's see what exactly we get out of this statement that is 6 we are getting 6 because first of all it is just uh, dividing the value and then it is adding but in case if we use special operator precedence of operators changes so like we can see this time we are getting the value of 4 so in this way we can change the precedence of operation of operators by using grouping operator and second one is in case i want that uh, output of some command should participate in my expression so i can use grouping operator at that place like in this statement i want that output of get hyphen service command should participate in my expression so i can use grouping operator here and let me try to run this command so now i am getting output of get service and out of that output i am using display name of a service that is sitting on index number 2 right so in the same way i can use grouping operator in more ways like in this example i am trying to count the number of services which i have in my output so i am counting here so in this way i can use grouping operator in different ways next one is sub expression operator we use this operator to return the result of one or more statements we use this operator when we want to use an expression within another expression let's see a quick demo so this time i have renamed this demo as sub expression operators and i have taken a very realistic example in this case so what i am doing in this case is like uh, i am trying to write something on my screen and in that output i am just trying to insert some string and that string i am taking from this expression or from these commands right so i have enclosed those commands in brackets right so that is the use of sub expression operator like we can get output of any command in the middle of my another sub expression so in this complete expression i am inserting the output of this sub expression using sub expression operator right so let me run this and what i get is like my os get updated using service and output of this command that is windows update so in this way i can use uh, operator to insert results of multiple sub expressions into my main expression next one is call operator call operator is used to run commands that are stored in a variable and represented by strings or script block one thing to note here is that we cannot use command parameters within a string when using call operator also we can use the call operator to execute scripts using their file names as string let's see a quick demo to make things more clear so again to save time i have written this code beforehand so in first command we are trying to take input as a command that we need to run and we are taking input from user like we are using this command like read hyphen host write command that you want to run and we are storing that command into command variable right so let me run this and suppose i want to run get hyphen service get hyphen service right so enter so what it has done is it has stored the command in this variable so if i try to return the variable's value so i will be getting get hyphen service 
right? And if I try to run this variable, can you see I am getting command as a value, but it is not executing. So for executing a command that is stored in a variable, we use call operator, fine? So if I use this call operator and I put the variable name, so let's see what happens. Can you see? I am just able to run the command which is stored in a variable using call operator. In the same way, we can run the script, fine? So let me just create a very small script. First of all, let me create a file. So I have created a file using extension ps1 and let me store some data into that uh, script. So let me insert get hyphen service into that script and yes i have written some data and now if i try to run this script using its name let me see what happens as you can see i am not able to run the script using its name fine so if i try to run this i am getting just the name of script but it is not executing so to execute a script by its name we use call operator like if i try to run this script I am able to run this script fine so this is the way that we can use call operator to execute our commands and script as a string next one is array sub expression operator this operator is used to declare an array we will discuss more about this in coming videos that would be dedicated to arrays only so next is hash table literal syntax this operator is used to declare an hash table. We will discuss again more about this in coming video that would be dedicated to hash table only. Next one is cast operator. So cast operator is used to convert or limit objects to a specified type only. Let's see a quick demo how it works. So again I have written this code beforehand just to save the time and I have named this demo as special operator cast operator so in first line i am just creating a variable and putting a value of value string in this variable so let me run this and my variable is created and if i try to return the value of this variable i am getting its value so now what i do is let me try to limit this variable to integers only fine using my cast operator like using cast operator i have defined like this variable would be of type integer so if i try to run this i am getting error because i have defined the variable of integer type using cast operator but i am providing the value of string so that's why i am getting error because it is expecting a integer value but i am giving a string value so in this way we can define the type of a variable or we can define the data type or we can fix the data type of something using cast operator in next line if i am trying to insert an integer into this variable it is accepting it happily fine so if i try to return the value of this variable now i am getting its value so in this way we can use cast operators to hardly bind the type of data next one is comma operator comma operator creates an array or appends to the array being created in screenshot we can see that we have created an array using comma operator next one is index operator index operator is used to select objects from index collection in screenshot we can see we are trying to fetch first and second elements from array that we just created in last slide next one is pipeline operator pipeline operator sends the output of first command to the next command as you can see in screenshot we are sending output of get hyphen service command to the where hyphen object command range operator represents the sequential integers in an integer array given an upper and lower boundary beginning from powershell 6 the range operator works with characters as well as you can see in screenshot we are getting list of integers from 1 to 5 using range operator so now finally it is member access operator 
This operator is used to access the properties and methods of an object. As you can see in screenshot, we are fetching display name of a service using member access operator. Right? 